Good day everyone. So the reason, the primary reason you're here is because the in control on the launch key or the Novation launch key 25 or MK2 doesn't seem to work. The in control doesn't seem to work. So let's just get down to it really quick. I'll try to make this a short video. Um, the, mo the first part will be the most important part for you possibly. And then I'll add a little bit on to the end, uh, which is going to make the video a little bit longer, but you know how can you can utilize the uh, in, in control. But anyways, let's get down to business here. The first thing you need to do, of course, you launch FL Studio, you hook up your keyboard, then you go to the options and the MIDI settings. Just pay attention. Don't worry about this stuff up here right now, but pay attention right now. All it says here is MIDI hardware port, okay? And this is how mine came up standard. And I mean, the keyboard's functional. Oh, it's kind of loud, I'll turn it down a bit. So the keyboard is functional, um, you can do whatever. However, you want to be able to utilize the in control and the keypads here. Uh, some people might use that for live performance, which I'll show you in a second. But anyways, let's get down to business again here. So anyways, if you click on here, this should match your keyboard type. So in my case, I want the MK2. If it doesn't match, you can try refreshing the device list and then going to this drop down right here. Just click on that and then go find. The first one should be the MK2 keyboard. Now the second one, it's also showing the keyboard, but let's just try changing it to because you want that one on the uh, MK2 performance. So, okay, so that worked. That's how it should look, okay? But yet, the end control still does not light up. There's still nothing there. Keyboard's still functional. And it's just so simple, folks. All you need to do, the first thing, you see this 170? So this is highlighted. Change that port to 171. Okay, that's the first step. Still, nothing's lighting up, so you're thinking, ah, oh, still not working. But you have to go up to here and make sure that this and this mirrors this and this. So this should be 170 and this should be 171. And this should be 170, 171. So you're also gonna have to change this to 171. And watch what's gonna happen here once I do that. Voila, so now, I have the keyboard up top and the performance mode down below matches here keyboard performance and you noticed right away once I did that the in control buttons light lit up and when the in control is on it does it's for spe specific purposes so now the keypads appear like they don't work but if you take off that then it goes back to normal and it's the same with the uh, with the mixer controls or whatever you're going to control with when it's an in control it does specific things and then you take it out and it performs other functions simple as that but anyways this is what we want to accomplish initially now you have your in control set up and so at this point you might be saying well what do i do with that you know some people know what to do with that and they probably know it way better than i know it but i'll give you a really short example here so we know our in control is now working so we'll close that and all i did is i made uh i made up four patterns they're just just basic patterns just from uh like just look at pattern one um here's the channel rack all i did is i just put a little uh kick drum sequence in here and then what i did is i recreated a pattern two uh, just with the clap, a three with just the hi-hat, and then a four with just the snare. So here we are in the playlist. And this is, uh, again, this is a just super basic, super simple. And say, for example, you would just put this in here, you put your pattern one in there, and I don't know, whatever, oops, whatever you're doing, doesn't really matter, it's just a demo. And I'm, I'm gonna show you how I can control this stuff. Now, normally, I'm not gonna worry about it here, but what you wanna do if you wanna utilize, again, these keypads to control what's happening in the playlist in real time, like for a live situation, it's pretty easy to do. 
again, go up to the um, tools, go to macros, and you want to go to prepare for performance mode. Hit that. And normally you should save your stuff before you do this to keep your original. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna say okay. And now what, what it's done, it's created the performance mode and it shows the different pads marked off, you know, pad one, two, three, four, or whatever, up to uh, 16. And now you're saying, well, hey, I still don't see anything there. Okay, so how do you utilize this? Uh, basically, if you look over here, here are our patterns. You might see some stuff out to the right uh, from your original uh, patterns that you had in the playlist. Just ignore those. You can actually get rid of those because they're listed here and we're going to utilize this stuff. So there's one little secret here. Um, let's just put a pattern here and you're going to see pad one light up. So that means this is functional now. It's assigned to that pattern, this button. Now, there's circumstances where you'll move that over and you won't see this light. This is very important. Um, now, by default, it seems to show up. But later on, as you move on in advance, you might have, say, a bunch of uh, pads set up. And if this, you see this red box? If it's down here... That button won't light up but if you move it up there it's highlighted that area so now the button is assigned to that and the reason you do that if you have a lot of uh, pads set up you can also use this so your first eight pads will be assigned to one thing and then if you have some patterns way out to the side you're gonna have to move this over to see them that's what I found you know I might be there might be other ways to expand this. I don't know, but this is what I've noticed. Especially if you say you put multiple patterns straight down the tracks, you might have something set up, six of them set up here along the, along the top, you know, along here. And then you may have to move things around, but if you don't see any lights on the key on the keypads here, take the, take this, rotate it, and then you'll see it light up. Um, I hope you understand. I'm just, I don't know. I hope you understand that. Okay, so let's move along. I babbled too much there. Let's just move stuff over here. So now we can see the next one lit up. It's on pad three. We put one down here that'll set, sign it down here. Keep moving. So that's all pretty cool. So now we're all set. These will play. There's settings. I'll show you really quick. Uh, there's there's many options of uh, how these perform, what they do when you actually press them, how it's going to react. But the nice thing too, you could also add in, um, say you could go to your effects section here or whatever. You could have a whole tune or a whole little something set up, you know, something that you already created. And I don't know, let's find something that sounds interesting. Let's put that up there. So I'll sign it there. I'll just move that in. And I don't know what else sounds. Something interesting. All right. We'll put that there. So now we have basically six patterns ready to go here. And, you know, again, this is very basic, but say, for example, these, what, these patterns that are on track one, this is where you go and you right click on your mouse and you tell it how to um, how to act when the button is pressed. So there's many different things. There's hold and stop, um, stay, it will keep playing I believe. That's how that one works. Let's try that. Uh, this house track two set up. That one's on re-trigger and let's just try one shot, see what happens. And to begin, you now there's different options. You can tell it to, to play, but wait for an input. We're just going to go ahead here, give you a quick demo. Whoops, sorry. So that one, I, I 
That one was set. These are set to hold. You can do two at the same. So it depends what you want to do. I mean, that that's one setting. This one is, we'll just let it go. Okay, that's just to play once also. Yeah, I mean, you have to fool around with that stuff. Um, let's just try something here. Retrigger. I don't know, let's try that. Okay, so that's a different setting. It triggered everything. Then if you want to stop, um, stop one of these sequences, see the button here. It depends on how it's all set up. I mean, this is a really simple, it's kind of silly demonstration, but the whole thing here, the point of this video was all about getting the in control working so that you can utilize it, say within this uh, performance mode within the playlist. That's all it was about. So I hope this was helpful. Please come back for more, like subscribe. Put some comments down below. I'll try to help you out with uh, whatever uh, time permitting. So have a great day. Enjoy.